Bartlett is one of the most diverse high schools in the United States. We have people from all over the world. In the Anchorage School District, we have 92 spoken languages. We have a wealth of cultures and backgrounds that come in and out of Bartlett all the time. So many English language learners, special education students, general education students. We have kids with special needs. We have 20 to 30 percent as military. We serve one of our bases very close to us. As far as socioeconomic, you know, a lot of our families have some struggles and challenges, and our, and our kids always rise to the occasion. Tell me about faltering. What does it mean to falter? To lose confidence. You said that very quietly, but you should have been confident because you got it exactly right. My okay. students struggle so with confidence. confidence. A lot of the students have come to us with reading deficiencies, and so they've been struggling in all of their classes. It's just compounded all day long. They're reminded how, um, how low they read. You have students that need to work on some basic building blocks, and at the high school division, it's very hard for us as teachers to say, why am I teaching this basic thing? They're ninth graders. Kids that have those needs, that need to work on those skills, it's a very private matter, and it's really hard to do that kind of instruction in a group setting because people are a little self-conscious. You're making all these sounds and learning these skills that a lot of people acquired in earlier stages of learning. What Language Live does for students is it takes a lot of the hardship of actually saying like k at, k at, and saying it with a group, and it takes that piece and they can do it online with a computer and a headset on where it's their own personal development. Stuck. They can take their whole like self-esteem piece out of it. Okay, we're going to Language Live and signing in. How's it working? Make sure that everything's ready and plug in your headsets too. Antavia was the one who brought Language Live uh, to me as the curriculum principal and said, Language Live can fill a gap that we have. So go ahead and pick someone to start. She had a vision and a goal and she made sure that it's worked and she shared that with all of her other teachers. We've worked really, really hard to make sure that I'm doing what I can Students are doing what they can, other teachers are doing what they can to teach this well, and we've experienced phenomenal results. I think one of the big aha moments that I've had with Language Live is seeing how much the blended solution really makes a difference for the students. In my current class, I have 17 students, and I have a level one and a level two. I have about six students in level one, and so level one would receive their first round of instruction where I'm working with them in the text. But it was a showpiece. It's by the joy. During the teacher-led time, they're doing a lot of close reading strategies. They're looking at that guided highlighting. How do you go through a text and really start to understand what you're reading? While I'm doing that, the level twos are working on their computers. That portion of the lesson with the phonemic awareness, the phonics, the syllabication, it's all taught in a standardized manner online. The students are able to record themselves on those portions and then the teacher can go back and listen to those recordings to make sure that the students are understanding. The voice recording has been key for me seeing who needs additional help. I can go back, listen to the recordings, yes. and see if the sounds are being made. I can write feedback right there in the program that the kids will see next time they log on so they can know where their mistakes are or what they've improved on. In the middle of the class, we have a transition time. Okay, level two, start logging off and moving. My level one students would stop working with me. They'd get on the computers. Anyone want to read the example for me? Oh, we've got lots of volunteers and then level two would move into the area for small group instruction. So everybody's working with much smaller teacher to student ratio, and people are getting a lot more individual instruction. As a teacher, you're always looking for that hook. How are you gonna get kids to be interested in something? And Language Live has actually created a program that has a lot of those hooks and can draw a kid in. Because it's geared towards secondary students, the buy-in was phenomenal. It has videos built right in there. They get to create an avatar that, that can look like them. We've also had videos that correspond with the lessons. So if we're talking about censorship, there's a little video on censorship. 
When I've gone into Antavia's classroom, I've seen kids that are engaged. And what I'm seeing is my classes become a lot quieter, kids are a lot more focused, and they're taking it more seriously because they've been charged with a task and they have a goal. And they know that this goal is related to the quality of life that they're going to have. We just started doing our benchmark testing, so what the results we're seeing is that the Language Live uh, classes are getting Lexile boosts of 300 points. It's been phenomenal. Some of her students have made more than two to three years of growth. My student, Walter, is a very hard working young man. When he came to me, he was very quiet. And when we switched over to Language Live and started doing the small group instruction, I started to hear his voice. I've just watched him blossom and his confidence grow and he smiles more often and asks questions. Recently, he took his benchmark test and we got to see his results. The first one was 480 and the next one was about 900 something. He doubled his score from the beginning of the year, which is a huge gain. And just to watch him see the results and see what he did and this massive smile spread over his face. I freaked out. This program is life-changing and it's generational. I mean, it impacts that child and then their children and then their children because it's all about breaking that cycle of poverty and making sure the kids read well so that they can advance and progress in their careers and have the lives that they deserve. And I'm excited for them.